We're out here on beautiful Kentucky Lake fishing the uh, Big Bass Bash. We're fishing with a great field, and I think it's going to be a great day. We're on day two for uh, the Big Bass Tournament, and we're hoping we go catch some big ones today. Big. It's the final day of tournament competition for the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Close to 600 of the nation's top collegiate anglers are going out in search of one big bite to bring to the scales. Using only Berkeley baits, this elite field is ready to go catch a Kentucky Lake Giant. Just throwing a jig with a Berkeley accent, jigger crawl. This is the Berkeley nest, so they actually gave this to us at the uh, meeting when we went. New leader, session two, presented by Bob's Machine Shop, Tristan from SIU Edwardsville. That one goes 519, Berkeley bait. What you catching on? Uh, we actually had the trigger crawl, the four inch trigger crawl and green pumpkin on the back of the jig. 494, new leader, session one, presented by Abu Garcia, Berkeley baits only today. What did you catch that one on? Soft plastic, hard bait, top water, tell us. I caught that one on a Berkeley chopper. Who can put the Berkeley baits to good use and bring in a prize winning fish? Find out next. Oh, How about that one? That's our new leaders right there. Big University of Montevallo, 2496. The University of Montevallo wins its third straight title. Welcome into this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. On today's show, we'll be bringing you day two coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley on Kentucky Lake in Henry County in Paris, Tennessee. Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, this is my second Big Bass tournament. I'm a sophomore in college and uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here. I've always loved this lake and I caught two big ones yesterday, so hopefully we can go out there today and catch even bigger ones. Here on day two, the full field of close to 600 anglers will compete on Kentucky Lake, looking for a big bite to bring to the scales. There will be a total of three weigh-in sessions. The first two sessions will award prizes to the top 10, and the final session will pay out the top 20. At the conclusion of competition today, the overall Big Bass winner of the event will be crowned as well. You know, yesterday I had a pretty fortunate day. I was able to land two big fish. One was 540, and then I finished it out with a 631. And, you know, I think right now I'm in the lead, so I just, I just need to somehow catch a bigger fish than I did yesterday today. As these anglers go out casting in search of a big bite, today they will be doing so armed with only Berkeley baits. This is a twist that was added to the Bass Pro Shop's Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley a few years ago. And during the fall on Kentucky Lake, these college anglers utilize the full lineup of Berkeley baits from top to bottom, including soft plastics, hard baits, and topwaters to get bites. I always only use Berkeley for the most part. I've been throwing dredgers out here and a lot of the different Maxent baits. Fritz side, five, big and five. And uh, um, Berkeley Cane Walker. Hoping that um, second day, uh, Berkeley day, is hopefully a little bit more cloudy, hoping for a little bit of a topwater bite. Really hoping for a Cane Walker, a Chapo bite. I'm rigging up a Carolina rig and I'm gonna be throwing a Berkeley General on it, which is a stick bait by Berkeley and I caught my fish yesterday on a similar bait to it but this, this is the bait that I'm hoping will do the trick today. We start our on the water coverage with Harlan Thomas from ninth ranked Murray State University. Harlan is the overall leader of the event with 6.31 pounds, a bass that he weighed in during day one session four presented by Garmin. So right now I've started out in the area that I caught my biggest fish yesterday. And you know, I'm waiting for the sun to get up. I'm really just kind of trying to hold the spot to make sure no other people come here and sit on it. But what I need is for the sun to get over the trees because what it'll do is create a shade line. There's a ledge right here and the shade will be on the other side of that ledge and it'll position those big fish right where I want them. So right now I'm just kind of fishing around. There's shad jumping, some activity seeing if we can't get a little bit of a bonus fish before the sun comes out. So we're just gonna keep on at it. Welcome back out to Kentucky Lake in Henry County in Paris, Tennessee for day two coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. At Paris Landing State Park, anglers are making their way to the scales for session one presented by Abu Garcia. All right, Carter, 
from UNA. Bagging all in there, please. That's a good one. This one's probably going to set the mark for the session right now. Almost five pounds, 494 new leader session one presented by Abu Garcia. Take that fish out right there, man. Hold it up for the camera. If it holds, that'll win you a $300 Bass Pro Shops gift card and two Abu Garcia casting rods. Round of applause for him. Let's talk to you real quick. I'm going to pass this off to get some water on it. Hold tight right there for me. Stick with it. All right, man, your brother brought us one yesterday, won him a session. Right now you're in first place. Berkeley baits only today. What did you catch that one on? Soft plastic, hard bait, top water? Tell us. I caught that one on a Berkeley chopper. So that's their top water bait, reeling it across the water. It's a pretty fun bite. What was the excitement like when that one came up and hit it? Oh, I mean, it destroyed it. it was, we thought it was a really big one. But. Carter Nutt from 19th Rank University of North Alabama wins session one, presented by Abu Garcia with 4.94 pounds. For the session victory, Carter receives a $300 Bass Pro Shops gift card and two Abu Garcia Veritas PLX casting rods. This makes the third session victory of the weekend for an angler from UNA. Uh, this bait we're using is just a, a half ounce football jig with a four inch green pumpkin chigger crawl on the back. Bolt pop 70. Go. The baits, we've noticed that the bait's been pretty small around the banks. So maybe we'll get a couple decent ones. On day two of tournament competition at the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley, anglers are permitted to use only Berkeley baits. This includes hard baits, soft plastics, as well as trailers used on the backs of baits like spinner baits, bladed jigs, and jigs. Um, well, had a bunch of fish missed their bait going down this bank, and then they came up scolding on some shads, so I'm putting on this little Berkeley J Walker to see if I can uh, trick one of them in the bite. And this is the Berkeley nest, so they actually gave this to us at the uh, meeting when we went. The reason I'm throwing this is because this big fish tournament, I've, I'm going for the win, obviously, and I want to get a big bite, and this is definitely going to target a big fish if he sees it. So We had one come up on I had one here yesterday come up on this bait. About five pounder. So we'll, we'll see if he's here today. Try and get him to bite today, yeah. Big. Berkeley offers a wide range of baits designed to catch fish from top to bottom during all times and conditions throughout the year. Here on Kentucky Lake today, anglers are putting Berkeley baits to great use for getting quality bites. There's a two and a half, maybe three pounder. Good one to start the day with. And the worst net job in human history. <laughs> Just throwing a jig with a Berkeley Maxent Chigger Crawl, Green Pumpkin Green Flake. Fish fishing around bait eaters and just caught one, probably two and a half, three pounds. It's a good one. It's time for our second break in the show. Coming up next, we'll return back to Paris Landing State Park for weigh-in for session two presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Keep it tuned here for more. Well, we're here back at weigh-in. It's session two. Um, it was actually a pretty fun morning. We've been catching a bunch of fish. There's a bunch of like keepers in this lake right now that are biting, and I'm all three of us all have one fish, and they're all just like two and a half, maybe three pounds. So it's actually been a fun morning. Caught a whole bunch, and excited to get back out there. Welcome back to day two coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley on Kentucky Lake. We return now to Paris Landing State Park for weigh-in of session two presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Brant from Drury needs to go 284 to get you up. Let's just take the lead of the whole session, 491. Brant from Drury University, pull that one out, hold it up for the camera. I'll take the bag from you. Beautiful fish right there. Current leader, session two, presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Stay right here, man. I'm going to talk to you. We're going to put water on this fish. Hold tight. All right, first things first, what Berkeley bait did you catch that one on? I caught that on a 10-inch worm. Caught it on a 10-inch worm. I'm pretty sure if 
you might have read my article. I don't know. I wrote it on the website, collegiatebashchampionship.com. We talked about those types of baits out here, those ledges, the brush piles and stuff being good options to throw. Obviously worked for you. When you're fishing a big bass tournament like this, do you decide to use larger baits? If the conditions were tougher, would you downsize to try and get bites? How, how do you strategize the size of the bait you're using to catch a big fish? So in years past when I fished here, I've caught them on a big worm. Yesterday I threw it all day long and I just couldn't get a bite on it. But today they're on it. And I called a good one out that I wish I didn't have to call, but that's the rules. Tristan, also from SIU Edwardsville. We need 308 to get you in. New Leader, Session 2, presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Tristan from SIU Edwardsville. That one goes 519. Pull it out. I'll take the bag from you. Hold it up for Kevin right there to get you a picture, and then hang tight. We'll talk to you. Beautiful fish. I think that might be the first one today. Over five pounds. Take that ticket so I don't get it. All right, first things first, Berkeley bait, what'd you catch it on? Uh, we actually had the trigger craw, the four inch trigger craw and green pumpkin on the back of a jig, um, and we caught it off a ledge. We just happened to run down the lake. We were fishing some shallow docks earlier this morning and it didn't really pan out. Um, we never found the right quality fish in the docks, but yesterday, uh, tr the other Tristan ended up catching that 413 and, sec and got second place in session two. So um, we just ran down the lake, started fishing a ledge, and second cast, we ended up catching that big one, so we ran back up here. So. Here's a look at the top 10 for session two, presented by Bob's Machine Shop. Tristan from SIU Edwardsville holds on for the session win with 5.19 pounds. For the session victory, Tristan receives a 10 inch Bob's Machine Shop jack plate, a Bob's Machine Shop gear package, along with the $300 Bass Pro Shops gift card. We go back out on the water now to join Tristan, the Session 2 winner, and his fellow teammates from SIU Edwardsville. I actually weighed in the fish uh, last hour. Um, we kind of just pulled up to this point and uh, we ended up, it was like second cast, we caught the 519. So um, kind of pulled up here, we've just been dragging around. This morning we kind of started on some docks and uh, we got a lot of boats around us, caught a bunch of small fish just couldn't capitalize on catching a bigger fish so we decided to move offshore and uh, we just kind of let us here so we haven't really practiced here at all I've fished around in this area before the past couple of years but uh, so we just decided to pull up here and see if there was any fish biting and then there was so we're just gonna drag it out here a little bit and see if we can get bit again uh, we've uh, been putting the chigger craw and green pumpkin the four inch and we've been using the three inch um, we've just been putting them on the back of a jig, just dragging the jig around. Uh, but we've also been using it on a Texas rig. We got a couple different Berkeley baits tied on this morning. We started off with uh, the Chapo and the Cane Walker and Docks, um, trying to get bit on those, but it never really worked. Um, kind of had the coal shad thinking, try to catch a bigger fish on the coal shad, but that never worked either. So um, we really just stuck to this jig bite. So. Yesterday we caught them on a bunch of jigs, but luckily uh, Berkeley's got a ton of baits to offer that we can throw on the back of these jigs. Digging? Oh, oh. Well. <laughs> From SIU Edwardsville, we go on over to 11th ranked Carson Newman University. Dylan has placed in multiple sessions and already landed one quality fish today. I mean, we're gonna weigh in. I mean, as many fish as we can today. Just try to knock other teams down. Pick it back up. Uh, just try to knock as many teams down as we can. And, uh, you know, just keep weighing them in. Because it doesn't hurt to weigh in, you know, a three pounder that somebody, you know, a team in school of the year that was ahead of us had a 270 as their biggest. And it knocks them down. But, to send this back right away to weigh in, we'll probably need a three and a half, four pounder, just try to cash a check in an hour. Welcome back to day two coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. 
This weekend's event is being contested on Kentucky Lake in Henry County in Paris, Tennessee. The community welcomes the ACA with open arms each year and is happy to have close to 600 anglers in town. Oh, this is huge for us. Our tourism authority is so excited. A lot of our commissioners were out here. Uh, we like to come and see the money that we're putting to help make these events come to Paris and Henry County. But when we see this many young people come in and fish, and I was out at the lake Wednesday for something else, and there was at least 40 teams pre-fishing, and I'm like, that is awesome. And you know, we've got them from all over the Southeast, and it just spotlights our community, and it's a great place to live and raise a family, and we've got a lot of good things going on. Henry County in Paris, Tennessee offers top-notch facilities, including the host site for weigh-in, Paris Landing State Park and Marina. And just across the way from the marina is the State Park Lodge that recently opened. Our tourism industry and my life uh, has grown leaps and bounds, and we're so glad to have the new Paris Landing State Park in. Uh, is the crown jewel of the Paris of the state of Tennessee's park system. Uh, it's a 90-plus bed facility opened last June, June of 22, and it stays full, a uh, great restaurant, beautiful, magnificent views of Kentucky Lake, uh, and just a lot of good things going on in this community. It was a fun day. We caught a lot of fish, had an opportunity to do some pretty cool stuff, but uh, just some things didn't work out. Still got three bass to bring in for three guys, so uh, good, overall good day, fun time. Back at Paris Landing State Park and Marina, weigh-in is underway for the final session of the event. Session three, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Abu Garcia. Coming up, Hunter. This one's gonna take the session lead. 385 is currently first place. Let's see how much we're gonna beat it by. That one goes 582, new leader. Session three, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Abu Garcia. Pull that one out, man. Hold it up for the camera right there, and we'll talk to you real quick. Stay right behind the scales, please. Stay right here, I'll take the bag. Great fish right there, taking the lead in this session. First place will receive, sit in there for me. First place for this session will receive a $1,000 Bass Pro Shops gift card. Now, Boo Garcia, casting rod, how's that sound? It sounds amazing. We, uh, we worked hard for that one out there. We had a couple other bites that got away, but uh, we'll pick the one in the boat that matters. It's looking like right now it's going to take at least a three pounder to get inside the top 20. Come on, Henry, you can set it in there, man. You're good. Adrian College. That's a good fish. Another one over five pounds goes 5'11, jumps you all the way up to second place. Take that one out, hold it up for the camera, please. Great fish right there. I'll take the bag from you. Good job. Stay right here behind the scales. You're good. And when the scales close at the end of session three, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Abu Garcia, Hunter Odom from 8th ranked University of Montevallo sits atop the leaderboard with 5.82 pounds. For the session victory, Hunter receives a $1,000 Bass Pro Shops gift card and an Abu Garcia Veritas PLX casting rod. Oh man, we uh, we caught a big one today. Caught a big one uh, when it mattered. So uh, super excited, super blessed, and uh, it, was a, it was a fun week. We we're fishing in about six inches of water. Uh, the water dropped where we were fishing Thursday and Friday, and uh, it dropped about six inches. We were catching them about a foot, so they didn't have much water up there to stay in. But they were, uh, most of them stayed, and uh, it's like you could see their backs pretty much. So uh, I flipped the jig up there, and um, the uh, Berkeley meaty chunk. Got it done. And with all the sessions now completed, here's a look at the top 10 for the final standings in the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Harlan Thomas from 9th ranked Murray State University wins, besting the elite field of close to 600 anglers with a bass weighing 6.31 pounds. Hunter Odom from the University of Montevallo finished in second, and another Murray State angler finished in the top three as Braden Kerber claimed third. We got it done today in the Big Bass Bash. You know, we finished first place at about 600 guys, and you know, I couldn't be happier. This is probably the biggest tournament I've won. I've won a few, but not a big college tournament. This is definitely my first one, and it, it means a lot. As the overall winner of the event, Harlan Thomas earned additional prizes and contingency bonuses. Combined with his winnings from day one, 
Harlan won over $9,000 in prizes and contingencies this weekend. Along with the valuable prize payouts this weekend, teams also earned valuable double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Here's a look at the top 10 in the national rankings following the event at Kentucky Lake. McKendry University moves into first place with 8,220 points. Murray State moves up into second, and the University of Montevallo is ranked third. That will conclude our coverage of the Bass Pro Shops Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, and we'll see you at the next tournament stop. This has been a Careco TV production.